Hey, welcome to this special announcement. Um, we've got some exciting news to share with you today about this channel going forward. And today, this channel will be brought to you by InfoQ. After many years of new circles servicing developers with ad-free educational videos on a range of development topics, InfoQ will be picking up the mission to provide free educational and innovative content from practitioners. From today, you'll notice that this channel will be named InfoQ. To tell you a bit more about this news, I have with me Floyd, co-founder and CEO for InfoQ, and Max, Director of Media Marketing for New Circle. Floyd, Max, thanks very much for your time. So Max, could you give us a quick background on the New Circle channel and the content you've offered? Yeah, so um, we started the channel back in, I started the channel back in 2011. Um, and um, at the time here in San Francisco, there was all these great uh, technical meetups going on, uh, conferences, um, you know, just people here doing really cool things. And we kind of, you know, we would go to these events and we would see all this great uh, material being presented. And we wanted to get out there and, and share with everyone else. Um, and so that's what we started doing. We started going and filming these meetups and, um, you know, started connecting with conferences and, and getting that stuff out there. And it turned out people were really enjoying it. And from there, it just kind of grew organically. We started, um, you know, as New Circle is a training company, and as a training company, we had uh, access to a lot of really smart developers and teachers, and, and we started putting them in front of the camera and, and um, uh, you know, creating these sort of original tutorials that we thought people would find really interesting. And, um, and that's kind of how we got started. But, you know, it's always been about, it's always been about the content first, and, um, and it's always been about, you know, focusing on the, on the, on the technical aspects. And, and I think that's why I'm really excited to hand it off to InfoQ to kind of, kind of carry the, the torch because I think you guys have a very similar mission statement. You know, it's, you know, ours was always, um, you know, educating the world in open source development. And I think you guys are doing something, you know, very similar. Um, you know, the con you got, your content's definitely solid and I think you are going to, are going to get some great stuff out there for people to enjoy. That's great. Thanks, Max. Um, Floyd, I just wonder maybe if you could um, just give a brief history of InfoQ, um, just talking about, you know, who InfoQ supports and the type of content that's provided. Yeah, so InfoQ started in 2005, and uh, we wanted to do a developer media company that was sort of by developers for developers without all the kind of marketing uh, cruft and all the the ways that other media companies were just putting the advertisers first. Uh, so we're all technical here. I have a computer science background as well. And um, and it's kind of what makes InfoQ different is that it's actually by, literally all the writers are full-time developers who learn journalistic style news and do that in their spare time. And all the articles are also written by practitioners. And um, and with the videos, which is a good segue uh, to, to hear, is that we've actually been having a very similar mission to what um, New Circle was doing with their YouTube channel, but we were doing that on InfoQ. So for, since the beginning, we've been filming um, more than a dozen conferences a year and putting all the videos online for free on InfoQ, not including our own QCon, but as well as other events as well. Uh, so kind of like uh, we, uh, what Max has done with uh, New Circle, this channel, is sort of like our strategy in parallel in a different uh, medium. So that's why this uh, transition seems to make so much sense. And Floyd, the, the sort of content that you sort of mentioned there, I mean, what, what can um, sub subscribers expect to see going forward? And, and how is it really going to help their, their sort of software developers and, and sort of leaders? Yeah, so we're continuing to post uh, most of the videos we filmed to InfoQ, but our plan at the moment is to take a selection of the, of the best ones, the ones that uh, tend to get the, the biggest uh, traffic spikes on InfoQ, and post those um, roughly two per week to the YouTube channel going forward, as well as video versions of all of our podcasts, because we have um, a very popular uh, couple of set, set of podcasts that just launched uh, only like six months ago and are already getting over 10,000 plays a week. So we'll be putting the podcast versions on YouTube as well, because uh, you know it's, it's YouTube as a, on the phone is actually a good app to play almost anything and uh, we're going to take it from there and see how that works out and probably expand and launch more things in the future uh, but that's how we're going to start off with the channel for now great and for those that may not have heard about infoq or qcon i mean where where could people go and find out a bit more about you um yeah infoq.com uh, we've been publishing technical media for over 10 years uh, news and articles and videos and um qcon qconferences.com you can find the next Q qcons and uh, yeah, so and I'm, I'm just especially grateful for uh, the work uh, you know Max and New Circle has done on the channel. I think um, you can tell when people do things from a sense of mission. It's not just a, a, a business channel. So you know we take InfoQ the same way. So this channel will be treated the same way. So hopefully all the New Circle subscribers uh, find a good new home with uh, with InfoQ serving them. 
That's great. Thanks again for your time, Floyd and Max. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, um, so you don't miss out on the new educational videos that we'll be sharing very soon. Thanks very much. Thanks. Bye.